Hello everybody, this is Eastside Steve from Eastside Show SCP, and it's time for a Patreon Q&A. But before we get into that, I want to tell y'all I have a Facebook account, Twitter account, and a Patreon account. There will be a pinned comment down in the comment section so you can easily uh, check out my social media accounts and all that sort of stuff. And of course, there's the YouTube notification bell thing if you want to get updates as soon as the video is released and all that sort of stuff. You can click that, because, you know, double subscribing and all that. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the Patreon Q&A, alright? Let's begin. The Crumpster asks, What toppings do you like on your pizza? Uh, my favorite toppings, and usually I put them all together like this, is pepperoni, jalapenos, mushrooms, and bacon. And I also like to put uh, cheddar cheese on top of it as well. Depends on my mood. But I like to mix them all together. It makes a really good pizza. I like a little bit of spice with my stuff. Eugene R. Sano Jr. asks, Of all the videos I've watched, I've never actually seen you. Any chance of a face reveal? Like, huh. I don't know what you're talking about. I never reveal my face for nobody at all. So I have no idea what you're talking about, really. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next question. Um, Christian Daniel asks, New here, so sorry this is something you've gone over before. What got you started doing these readings? What improvements are you most proud of when you look at your channel as a whole? To be fair, I think it's more of my confidence, actually. Because for the longest time, I used filters, which was actually, it was a little bit of a mixture of both. Um, I kind of did the filters as more of a radio show, but I never really felt confident with my own voice. Which is ironic, since I used to do community plays and such, and people never had a problem with my voice at all. I usually played bad guys, you know, military figures and such like that in community plays. I was just looking up creepypasta videos, usually stuff by like Creech McPasta and Mr. Nightmare, etc, etc. And when um, SCP readings actually came into the suggestion box on YouTube on the right hand side, and I decided to look at it, I'm like, what's SCP? And then that's when I got hooked. It was from her reading, I think it was either SCP-173 or it was the Living Gun. I think that's 122, 127, something like that. After I listened to her reading on that SCP in question, I went to the SCP website and there's like all these, um, you know, all these stories and everything. I'm like, what? It's like, what's all this all about? I'm like, oh, it's creative writing. I'm like, I used to do that a long time ago. In fact, I'm still kind of working on it with Eastside Verse. I mean, y'all never actually seen it, but you've, you've probably seen me type about it on Twitter. And it's something I want to turn into like a comic online with the help of, of a few artist friends and such. I think it'd be really cool. I think the biggest thing that I'm most proud of, like as far as improvements, is the fact that I'm actually getting into Photoshop and I'm learning how to do Photoshopping and, you know, animation and such again. And it's kind of a weird thing because with my hands the way they are, I can't draw traditionally anymore. It's like my hands get way too shaky and I'm, it's not even anxiety. It's like a, it's like physical problems with me right now. And so I never thought I could draw again, ever. But then I'm like, you know what? I started doing with Photoshop and I'm like, you know what? I can actually do this. I can get pretty good with Photoshop now. And... I can now make my own little images to kind of show what's the what the story I'm talking about is. And overall, I think that's the best improvement. And the fact that I'm going with my actual voice instead of using the filters. I mean, people love the filters, you know, for that for that old style feel or sound like an old radio show or something like that. And I could use that again for certain videos and all that. But overall, I think that's the biggest improvement. Me learning Photoshop, and finally being able to be an artist again. Or at least try to, at least. The Crumpster asks, Beef or pork barbecue? The answer is both. I love both. Although, I kind of lean more towards beef. But, that's my thing. But I love both. He also asks, In your opinion, what is the best Fallout game? I don't know, man. Fallout 2 is amazing, and so is Fallout New Vegas. I love both. They're both like on the top tier of my favorites. Fallout 2 is just one of those games you can come back to anytime and have a brand new adventure anytime you want. Fallout New Vegas, in my opinion, 
is probably what a Fallout game should have been. Especially since they even had the, um, the narrations and the endings, multiple different endings. You actually had freaking choice in that game. It's not just one linear, um, you know, narrative. You can basically have a good ending, bad ending, evil ending. You could take sides, etc. Now, I never got a chance to play Fallout New Vegas with mods, but I heard that makes it even better. And I heard there's even mods that make it more classic Fallout in a way. And finally, he asked again, What was the first album you purchased, whether it be on vinyl, CD, audio cassette, or digital? The first audio cassette I actually owned was Quiet Riot Metal Health. Good album. Good band. Got to see them in concert like, uh, like 10 years ago. It was pretty cool. Yeah, that was the stuff I collected back in the 80s on the audio cassette. I mean, I had stuff like Twisted Sister, ACDC, Megadeth, Metallica, Judas Priest. The list goes on. I had a lot of audio cassettes. Then in the 90s, I was collecting music from Nirvana, uh, Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, Stone Temple Pilots, and the list goes on from there as well. Then in the 2000s, I started getting stuff from Disturbed, a bunch of other bands. I started kind of phasing out of music back then, in the 2000s, and, but nowadays, I listen to stuff like Sabaton, Iced Earth, Demons and Wizards, Blind Guardian, and that list goes on from there as well. I hope you enjoyed the Patreon questions and answers session, and I plan to do one for the general audience as well, but I don't know how to do that yet. It's like, like I don't know if I want to make a video and just ask people and then make the video like that, do a live stream or whatever, so I haven't decided on it yet, but I, I do want to do something like that. I also kind of want to get back into SCP discussions and all that sort of stuff as well, because that was fun. It was fun getting people's, you know, ideas about certain topics and all that. I kind of want to go back to that stuff. Alright, so until then, see you next time and have a good day.